Hello there. Today we're going to be looking at all of the rares, the locations and drops inside of the Badlands. There are 9 rares in the Badlands in total and it is a pretty varied zone in terms of level range 36 all the way up to 55 elite. I just want to quickly point out that if you're going to be playing classic I do have a handy playlist of all the rare zones I've done so far and as I release new videos they will be automatically added to the playlist so be sure to check it out. War Golem First up we have War Golem, a level 36 mechanical construct that is just south of the Maker's Terrace. One thing to note about this guy is that he is on pretty much the main path into the Badlands so you may have a pretty bad time actually trying to find this guy and hunt him down as he's pretty much going to be dead basically. One interesting thing to note about him is he has an ability called Lockdown which uh, disables his movement but increases his physical damage dealt. This makes him an absolute dull for any ranged characters. Killing him will give you a random green. Broken Tooth Up next we have Broken Tooth, a level 37 cat to the southeast of the Maker's Terrace. Now this is one of those rare occasions where I wouldn't actually advocate for killing this guy purely because of how good he is for hunters and the kind of just general benefit you give to hunters from leaving him alive. So Broken Tooth back in the day was known as the Caster Killer because he had a set of unique stats and a one attack speed making him the fastest pet in the game. This means that in Classic WoW Broken Tooth will still be broken, so do your hunter friends a favour and please don't kill him, let him be tamed. But he does drop a random green if you kill him. Barnabas Up next we have Barnabas, a level 39 wolf that hangs around to the south of the Badlands near Agamemnon's Rest. This place is like near the the secret entrance to Alderman, kind of, like that's the only way I can really describe it. He hangs around with other wolves, he looks brown, he's pretty easy to tell where he is. This guy is not particularly um, great at anything, he doesn't have a lot of health, he doesn't do a lot of damage. But he does look kind of cool, and that's kind of the only thing he's got going for him. He should drop a random green. In this case, he didn't, so I don't know if he has a small chance not to. But yeah, he's just kind of an average rare. Siege Golem Up next, rare number 4, we have Siege Golem, a level 40 elite construct that hangs around at Apocryphan's Rest. This is right next to Kargarth, um, well, kind of just to the east of Kargarth, so you really shouldn't miss this guy if you're a Hordy in the area. Um, but then saying that, really, why would you go to the Badlands if you're Horde? That is a pretty mental thing to do, but you know, hey, you do you. This guy does actually quite a lot of damage and obviously because he's an elite he has a fair amount of health. He doesn't actually have any particularly special abilities though so I think you should be able to kite him. He is kind of slow so there's that. And killing him will just give you a random green. Unfortunately he's an elite. I kind of wanted better but there you go. Shadowforge Commander Up next we have Shadowforge Commander, a level 40 dwarf that hangs around inside of Angor Fortress. You know the layout of these buildings by now, but just if you don't, if you go in, find the middle siege room, and then hang a right, go up those stairs, kill a couple of the guards, and you will find your guy. The only thing to note about him is he has a devotion aura, so if you're melee you may do a little bit less damage, but it's only like a 10% reduction, something like that. 
And yeah, apart from that, he doesn't do anything special. He's not really that hard to kill either, to say he's the commander, so I was pretty disappointed by that. And he will give you a random green and nothing more. 7XT And up next we have 7XT, a mechanical repair bot thing that hangs around in the very far south of the Badlands. This guy is just up the path from Thelgrin the Lost, so if you know where that guy is then it's very easy to find this guy. He is the only neutral rare in the Badlands, so it means that if you need to kill all the rumblers around first, you're absolutely free to do so. Just one thing to mention though is that this area is you have to go up here for a quest, I think, so um, he may be dead a lot of the time because players, if they just see a rare, they're going to kill it. So just bear that in mind. And killing him will give you a random green. 7 Anathemus Up next, and our 7th threat is Anathemus, a level 45 elite rock elemental giant thing that roams around in the southwestern portion of the Badlands. Actually, his patrol is a bit bigger than the map I showed, but he will pass through that area quite often. And one thing to note, this guy is really slow, so um, if you have kiting abilities, yeah, feel free to use him on this guy. And this is actually what makes him pretty easy to kill as a 45 elite. One thing to note though, he actually does a crap ton of damage and he attacks really quick as well, so really make use of his slow movement speed to cut him around. Killing him will give you a random green, and I'm not really too sure if there's an increased chance to drop ores, but in this case when I killed him he also did give me a silver ore, so it could have been a coincidence, or it could have just been um, part of his loot table. Rumbler Up next we have Rumbler, a level 45 rock elemental that is in the valley just to the south of Camp Kag, I believe it's called. This guy is um, he's reasonably hard to pick out, the main thing is he's got an ever so slightly different colour to him, he's slightly yellower and slightly smaller than the other elementals in the area. Uh, nevertheless you're going to just have to fight your way in there, I don't think there's any way to kind of sneak around because they are pretty densely packed in that area. There's nothing crazy special about this guy, one thing to be aware of though, he has the ability to knock you down and stop you from attacking for 2 seconds, and even as a level 60, I was not even able to resist this, so it may be completely unresistible, it looks like it is. Nevertheless, if you do kill him, he will give you a random green and nothing else, but you know, if you're in the area, why not go get some free loot. Zaracotal And last but not least, we have Zarikotal, a level 55 elite vulture that hangs around in the Valley of Fangs. I've seen Zarikotal referred to as the Fell Reaver of the Badlands, and I 100% agree with that statement. I remember as a level 40 undead warlock accidentally stumbling into the Badlands and accidentally uh, running into this guy, in which case he killed me instantly. I sacrificed the Voidwalker, I tried as much as I could, but alas, I could not escape his wrath. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much what your first experience of Zarika will probably will be in the Badlands. He's mechanic wise, he's actually not really that hard to kill at all. You could probably do him if you were a lower level and in a group of three or four maybe, so that's something to consider. But the really interesting thing about this guy is he will always drop a random green, but if you're also on Alliance, you will get a quest item to begin a quest. Bear in mind you can start this quest at level 30 as well, so that's really interesting. It also opens up the opportunity for someone to boost you because the Badlands is not far from Thelsimar. Pretty easy to get over there, swoop down, get someone to boost you, get the quest, 
and then go back to Ironforge to hand it in. And that is where you have to hand in this quest. So you have to end up going to the military ward and handing it into a siege engineer. And it's really weird, I don't know who was responsible for writing the second part of this quest, probably um, Pat Nagel or someone like that. But yeah, they completely forgot, there is no quest text when you hand it into this guy, it's just like he takes it off your hands and just gives you 50 silver. But quests are pretty sparse in classic and vanilla, if you desperately need the XP, it's definitely worth considering going for Zarikotal. So as is always the case now, here is a map of all of the locations of all nine rares in the Badlands. Take a good look at it, there is also a copy of the image in the description below, so be sure to check that out if you'd like to refer to it when Classic launches. So thanks for watching the video, that was all nine rares, their drops and locations inside of the Badlands. Overall the zone is pretty interesting to me, the drops not so much, but the fact you've got Broken Tooth in this zone, and the fact if you're on Alliance you can get a quest from Zarakotl, the fact that Zarakotl's a 55 elite in this zone as well is really interesting, and it just holds a place quite dear to my heart. I will keep making videos, but as Classic WoW is coming out, I may be a little bit distracted, but we'll see how we go. I'll see you next time.